Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising monthly tarot reading for December 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you that uh, this is just a, a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And uh, if you are to do so, uh, don't forget that as uh, Christmas is approaching, there is a Christmas deal going on, which uh, simply is uh, the 20 and the 30 minute service uh, for a live reading are with abated prices. And also if you do like these reports and you want to know even more about your month, uh, you can do so by obtaining the um, extended monthly tower reading for just $1.49. From our website and there we are to focus specifically on career and on relationship side of the matter while this is just a, a general reading so <clears throat> starting with the topic of the month here seven of cups it does point that this month is going to be like a roller, a roller coaster what i mean is that it's gonna have a lot of ups and downs because the seven of of cups by on its own is that dreamy card where a, a beautiful things are happening one day and then on the other day the whole celluloid fairy tale it's kind of like being shattered well not the whole of it but you know a, a big portion of it therefore throughout this month those cancers which are really holding their feet on the ground very strong and they don't strain from reality you know they kind of like tend to <clears throat> I look at their situations at hand in their relationship and in their career more objectively than emotionally are going to kind of like conserve themselves or rather save themselves from experiencing a certain disappointments because this is how the seven of cups works i i mean it kind of puts you in the right direction every time but with most of the people which are acting more emotionally and and are accepting their situations more emotionally and we're talking about cancers after all uh, that kind of like um, rearrangements of part or being set on the right path happens through a, a, a disappointment and just to give you an, an example of that I will use the example of a love triangle here, being the beautiful girl in the high school and, uh, you know, being approached by two guys. One of them very handsome, the other one it's kind of like mediocre with their appearance but very smart. And of course, the girl is going to go for the extremely handsome one just so to realize that actually they don't have a common topics because only thing that that guy cares about is the gym the uh the diet and to fight in the bar so that's why the girl is left disappointed and is set back on track with the smart guy with mediocre appearance so something like this you know and that could manifest itself into your relationship into into your career as well into your um a friendship circle, family circle, etc., etc. Just so you know, here, guys, that uh, many of your um, not the, the the word in English, I think, is dream, but in my language, we do have a separate word to um, to kind of describe this uh, this event. Let's say that your expectations, if they are kind of like unreal, throughout this month, you are going to obtain the 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 real diagnosis upon what can be achieved in your undertakings. The best, uh, the best possible course of actions or the intentions that you should adopt here, that is going to be the death card and the death card here advises you to put a, an end of being naive in that specific case. So uh, for this month, uh, we do have you adopting 
or kind of is advisable for you cancers to adopt a little bit more defensive measures for the rest of your life if i may express myself that way and not to trust not just into strangers you know but into also a uh, statements and testimonies that are merely supported by any facts whatsoever just because the whole story looks beautiful and promising it doesn't mean that this is the real story after all or it kind of uh, prerequisite itself on a, a reality as well so it's kind of like we are having you here cancers being stripped of the dreamy routine that you do have until this very moment and many things reveal themselves with their true form true face true shape and you name it and with the death card here on the intention wise you need to accept it in the way that it is presenting itself to you unfortunately that could have a, a quite of a grim uh, manifestations you know for example you may fall for the uh, a certain guy you may start dating with them and they haven't trialed you, you know, just to find out that they are merely a monsters. And you have to accept it instead of secretly hoping that these people are going to change on their own accord, which ain't going to happen. Or in the same time, it could manifest itself like uh, being promised all over and over uh, a promotion into your career and that promotion is never coming around and you have a the next consistent denial here in the month of December and the death card here as an intentions, it kind of advises you or it, you need to adopt those intentions that this promotion will never gonna happen and if you want it you gotta seek it elsewhere so it's kind of like a, a complete change of system of beliefs that we do have for you throughout the month of course it could be a manifestation of a, a very positive thing here that a, a certain uh, unreachable goal of yours until this very moment now becomes quite reachable with a um, how can I place it mm, with realization that you were trying it in uh, with a, a wrong performance or trying to execute it in a wrong way as I said the disappointment is gonna send you on the right path here so let's see what kind of a, a challenges you have to overcome uh, as a predicament and that is the nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles as a challenge is about um overconfidence and it is a, about it has also a, a different interpretation when it comes to a challenge and it is the sense of that you are more important than the others i know that many people will not admit that but uh, throughout my uh, line of work many people think that they are more important than others uh, recently you know well I don't want to dive into examples with me on that specific subject you know because I know that many people were going to feel bad about it so I will stop here but believe it or not uh, Many people think that they are more important than others and many people think that their problems are more important than other people's problems. And that could be something that uh, could cause a predicament in your, um, in your following month. And the specific predicament is going to be uh, obtaining support and... Uh, oh, how can I place it? not exactly convincing people but building up trust within people you know assuming that you are more important than others than your deeds are more important than someone else's deeds uh, toward a topic that does not concern you directly for example work let's give you an example of works you think that your project is more important than your co-workers project you know and then uh, for that particular reason um, you are kind of like a making problems in front of your boss and these kind of stuff all right and that that could be the thing that it is exactly denying you from the um the promotion that you are after or that you have been promised to you but this is just on the topic of um 
the sense of self importance. The other thing that uh, the Nine of Pentacles could represent as a predicament here is the sense of, um, of self sustainability. In other words, you are enough for yourself and you don't need anyone around you. Needless to say that that is a, a big predicament when it comes to making a relationship or, or sustaining such. As even if you are enough for yourself, uh, it will be a good thing, you know, so your partner, if you do have one, of course, to feel relevant time to time when it comes to a relationship. So if you are single and if you are thinking why, you know, the Nine of Pentacles here gives us a glimpse that your presence in front of others making an impression that you don't need anyone. And the next one, that is going to be the guidance here. Uh, that the tarot is offering to you and that is the nine of Pent the knight of pentacles so the knight of pentacles is telling us a couple of things here cancers first of all it, it tells us that you should proceed throughout the month with very simple steps forward you know not you should exclude any sophisticated plan throughout the month and that is very um very accurate when it comes to this kind of a synergy seven of cups with the knight with the knights of pentacles basically the 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 more simple the big simplicity the bigger simplicity your actions has the less chance you do have here to kind of like enter into a certain schemes that are vague for you because the more simple the actions are the more predictable those actions the, the result of those actions is going to be Additionally to that, the Knight of Pentacles is kind of ask you to uh, exert strong determination behind your um, behind your actions as well. So whatever you want to do, it needs to be supported with the right convictions and with the right determinations behind it. You shouldn't do it just because you can, if I may express myself that way. And finally, the Knight of Pentacles asks you to take up a, a certain uh, amount of rest so if you feel overburdened if you feel that uh, you are sick of a certain activity for example that you are sick of your relationship just so you don't outburst in it and you don't cause any wrangles in it you know take a couple of days off so you can have um, you know a little bit uh, time off and a little bit rest of it so after that when you return back into it you can find a little bit more passion for it um, <clears throat> after you spend a couple of days off and that that same thing applies for one's career as well and the last card that we do have this is going to be the final outcome for you cancers five of wands at the end it points that you are to be faced around the end of December with a, a quite of dynamic routine here. The night, then the five of wands, it's about a, a certain surprises that are to happen around. Uh, conflicts are not excluded for that matter, which are going to um, help you make around turns into many how can I place it into, into many activities of yours? So around turns, I mean that you can traverse your situations from failure towards success. So let's give you an example of that. You know, your relationship is falling apart here. You thought that it is a, a very beautiful thing and that everything was rock solid. And suddenly out of a disappointment, you realize that things aren't as pink as you thought they are. And it, that was due to the fact that you did not let your partner or your partner didn't let you to feel relevant into it and etc etc. So now you are making the things much more simple and at the end, you know, <clears throat> the routine, the dynamic into that relationship speed up, which presents you with an opportunity to turn around the um, imminent failure of that relationship into a, a successful advance forward or improvement. But that again is going to happen through a, a bit of confrontations. It may require from you to confront your partner, to confront your uh, co-worker, to confront your friend, you know, and etc. etc. It's not gonna go out, it's go it's not going to go away quietly. This is what I'm trying to say here. And you need to know that the conflicts with the five of wands, they are very productive ones because 
these are very warmed up conversations and conflicts and the result of this warming uh, is a, a fire of passion and with that fire of passion many things can be created. So that being said Cancers, this was your monthly tarot reading for December 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was just a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore in this uh, video I tried to do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and if you decide to go for a private reading don't forget that the prices for the 20 and the 30 minute live readings uh, with me are uh, abated from their original price so rat signing out now see you next time bye